So Genshin Impact's 4.5 livestream just announced a new banner that will feature old returning 5-star characters, some limited and some standard, along with returning 5-star weapons. How's it going everyone? This is Kay, and this is a great opportunity for many players to obtain characters they don't have. I'm sure there may be some questions in regards to how this works. Let's break down the new banner. The Chronicled banner will use intertwined fates, so basically the limited pulls, but it is separate from the event limited banners that we usually get. This means if you toss 40 posts into Chiori's banner, it does not carry over to this. So for this, you still need 90 wishes for a guaranteed 5-star, but it'll function similarly to the other banners, where 10 pulls guarantees you a 4-star or above. Upon pulling a 5-star, there will be a 50% of obtaining what you want. Before you pull, you'll need to choose an item on the list. It could be one of the featured 5-star characters or a 5-star weapon. Depending on the category you choose, the 5-star you obtain will be within that category. For example, you choose Albedo. The 5-stars you can get are only 5-star characters listed on this banner. This means if you lose your 50-50, you will get either Eula, Klee, Jean, Mona, or Diluc. Never a weapon. The same applies to the weapons as well, where if for example you choose Hunter's Path but lose the 50-50, you'll get one of the featured weapons, never a character. Now, if you do lose your 50-50, you'll acquire one Fate Point. When you pull your next 5-star, it's guaranteed to be the item you chose. So let's say you got Klee instead of Albedo the first time. You'll then get a Fate Point, so now you are guaranteed to pull Albedo for your next 5-star on this banner. The Fate Point will reset to 0 once you obtain the selected item or if you manually change your selected item midway. Do not change items midway. Make sure you know what you want. If you chose Albedo, lose the 50-50 and then manually change the selected item to say Eula, you'll lose the Fate Point. This is pretty much similar in function to the epitomized weapons mechanic, but instead of needing 2 points, it's just 1. Now what really sucks about this banner is that the Fate Point will not carry over to the next patch. So when this banner ends, the Fate Point will be lost. Pity counter will carry over though. Let's say you toss 50 pulls onto this and stop pulling entirely, then the next Chronicle banner is released, you'll only need to use 40 wishes to hit Hard Pity for a 5 star, but again, Fate Points will not carry over, so this type of banner forces you to have at least 180 pulls, which is crazy. I mean, don't get the wrong idea, I'm not trying to scare you or anything. 180 sounds a lot, that's just for the absolutely worst possible situation you can have, because a lot of players can win the 50-50, and usually it doesn't even take 90 pulls to get a 5-star. Usually, it takes maybe 70 to 80. Now, according to the official Hoyo explanation, characters and weapons can change every update, which means limited characters like Albedo, Klee, and Eula may not be on the next one. This may go for the standard characters as well, because, for example, if you like d Luke and you want him, this would be the perfect opportunity, unlike me, where you have to wait two years to get him on the standard banner, which is just insane. But again, we just don't know what the changes may be. For all we know, they could keep the standard characters and change all the limited characters, or they could completely change all six characters and replace them with different characters from different regions. But we do know in order for a limited character to be placed into the Chronicle banner, they must have at least three previous banners and cannot have a recent banner. We don't know how recent they mean, but Eula and Klee had banners during the 3.8 update, and now Beto had one way, way back then, around the 3.1 update, so safe to assume, it's pretty far back. Another official explanation also suggests that the Chronicle banner will be available from time to time, which would indicate that we may not always have this banner every patch. So to summarize, you choose a 5-star character or weapon, you need 90 intertwined fates for a guaranteed 5-star, which is basically just pity, Losing the 50-50 will give you a 5-star item on the list, so if you chose a character, you'll get a 5-star character. If you chose a weapon, you'll get a 5-star weapon. Now, losing the 50-50 gives you a Fate Point. Pulling your next 5-star will guarantee you the selected item. And the thing is, Pity Counters carries over for Chronicle Banners, but not the Fate Point. Items can possibly change in different updates, and the Chronicle Banner may or may not be available every single update. This banner is great for players who may want to obtain older characters or for the money spenders, higher constellations. The only bad thing about this would be the fate point not carrying over. That really forces players to make a sacrifice because not everyone can save 180 pulls for their guaranteed selection. But I said this previously, players can get lucky and win their 50-50, or it just may not take that much to pull a 5-star. 180 is again the worst possible situation, but it's at the very least something you should prepare for. But what are your thoughts on the Chronicle banner? I'll also link the official explanation down in the description. Don't forget to check out who you should pull for on the 4.5 banners. 
Thank you for watching. Good luck on your pose, everyone. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for future Genshin and Star Rail videos. Take care.